All right, guys. Welcome back to another Division 2 live build testing video. Today we're focusing, as the title suggests, system corruption. It's by far the most requested build on the channel since I started uploading again. And um, that's why we're going to take a look today and see how viable we can make it. It's been difficult to come up with, you know, solid builds for system corruption because, you know, it's not always giving you that benefit that some other sets do, uh, apart from the obvious. But we're going to, uh, we're going to try it out, see what we can pull off, um, what we need to do, and um, then we'll take it from there. Hello, Spirit. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I appreciate the support. So, what I ran in one of the shorts that I recently posted, I think, was this build. Um, this is currently weapon damage. What is it rolling? Quit damage, quit damage, quit damage, and quit damage. So, we've got three blues and three reds which is a bit of an issue um, and then we would run something like the Arboros on there to get the crit chance that we're looking for and then something with the range like the FAMAS or the shield splinter room which for some reason I can't find right now Okay. Okay, so the fact that we're running um that we are running unbreakable allows us to run another red core effectively. So this is what we initially what I initially played with. Let's just get on an elite enemy here. We're heading for 242, I mean, that's not a lot. If you can't hit around 300, you're, you're going to struggle. And the DPS isn't very strong either. But then again, if we start damaging ourselves... We should we should probably hit over 300k. Not not exactly. Right, and stats wise, we've got 60 crit chance, 115 crit hit damage. That's why it's so low because we haven't put mods on. Um, just see. So everything is everything is crit damage, which is what we want. I'll put 12 on that one and then we'll put another 12 on this one. But let's just see where we are with the chance right now. Still on 60, so that's good. Okay, so this puts us at 56, 150, which means we will probably hit more. There we go. Well, that's perfect. All right. Okay, so this is the first version of the build. Now, what do I have? This is that. Oh, this is some of the build stuff we tested last night. Okay, so we'll do this. Um, yeah, we can't run armor on kill on this 
but we can't run um, fire because it's not really going to add any benefit to us. So we might as well run the gunner. SMG shotgun, there we go. Righty. We'll play. And we can play this. Depends on if we go to the dark zone or if we're actually playing conflict with this. I think conflict will give us a good idea of what we can expect. But anyway, so that's that, that's number one. Um, Spotter Bleed Wicked, and then I've got that. Sesco. Okay, so I've got this one. I've got five ideas. <coughs> Excuse me. Five ideas. The other one is going to be Panda build. I don't think I have one, but anyway, we'll run Panda on the chest. If I have it. Defenders, why do I have this? Critical hit damage, skill damage. No. Okay, spotter, we're going to have to use that a bit later. obliterate which we'll probably also use so i don't have panda on anything i'll send that piece status effects on armor region so i was thinking for this one and then probably running pony a year Homer region headshot, no. Headshot critical hit damage. Uh, vigilance. Critical hit damage. Okay, wait. So we're running status effects because it gives that's what we want. So we need to run We need to run this. Okay, forty one twenty five. With some regen. And that's going to give us what? Maximum of 9 stacks. So that gives us 30% extra weapon damage. This might work. Yeah, this really might work. Okay, let's run a pulse resistance mod on this. The 
disorient. Where the hell is my 1.9 pulse resist? Pulse 9.4 and snare 9.9. .9. I have a 9.9 .9 pulse resistance mod. Guys, what the hell is going on? All those things that won't lift me up Just care about you and I My pulse resistance mod is gone Just care about you and I Thank goodness, jeez man That's caught, that, that really That scared me a little bit there Okay, so we'll have pulse resist on that. We will have crit chances on 41, which is incredibly low. It's going to give us 120 crit damage if we do this. We might as well go for chance. Okay, so we're looking at 53 and then 120, but then we're probably going to get 100 weapon damage on this. Okay. Right. So that's this one. 56, 138. And we're running this one. Which is 53, 120. But of course, we get a lot of benefit from the gun. Um, and from Panda. One point five mil armor. And what's the other one? The one has... One five. But this one has less, but we've got unbreakable, so that's fine. Right, so that's the other one. Um, then I want to try a bleed version of this build as well. The bleed version, and then we've got perfectly weird. I've got a lot of these. Anarchist cookbook. Crit chance, good damage. That's what we want. This is going to push us to 53, 119. So I could add 6% to this. And then we'll add 12% to this. Which means looking at 59 131 we've got we do not have a lot of protection on this we're running three and three which is a bit of an issue yeah this is going to be difficult i think we should run the ouroboros with this actually 58 136 seriously but now we've got this one, we've got this one. I guess we're going to start with these three. We'll test them out first. And then I also have... Um, I've got a big horn version of it. And then a spotter version of it that I want to try. So that's where we are.
Let's start with the lead enemy. Okay, this is first is bleed build, right? Nothing beneficial from this apart from bleed. We're hitting 311, 3125, 5.7. Okay, this pushes to 311, so that's not bad. But that's literally all it offers. The bleed. I'll try this one last. This one is just unbreakable. But we've got the chest piece as well. And we've got the catharsis mask. This gives us 257. Damn it, man. That was not the plan. Okay, this should be enough. Right, so... This is just backpack for the 100% bonus armor. This goes over 300, so I think it's solid. Six and a half million, so I think that's solid as well. I think you're running three red cores, so you're in trouble. And then we've got this guy, which hopefully does what we needed to do. Yep. This is probably going to be the one. 500 and you get the bonus armor. We are running gunner as well. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. <sighs> one, two, three, four cores. I think this is probably going to be the best one. I don't know about the bleed versions. It just doesn't feel strong. And you've got no protection. You're just doing bleed. Um, I mean, if you, if you, if we run something with Sadist on it, let's see if that makes a massive difference. SMG with Sadist. SMG with the status test one. Three twenty. Yeah, that's probably better. It's probably going to be better if you run that. I guess we're going to have to get the range from the Ouroboros. I think this is the most promising version of it. Okay, these two are the other twos. We're still trying. Stampede, Angry Pony, Tharsis. That's part of another build. All of my Mentor, Brazo, and then my tank builds. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's go in. Let's start with. Let's start at the bottom and we work our way up. This needs a different mod. We'll start with bleed, then we'll run this one, and then we'll run this one. One that's most promising. 
Let's see what we can do. And then we'll push into the AR stuff if this doesn't work. I mean, you'll just know. You'll just know if it's good or not. Let's run skirmish. Jeez, I'm just looking for some proper music here, man. Okay, we've got some spotter guys, got an Arboris guy. I'm gonna have to get very up close and personal with this. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm running pulses there, so we might as well run pulse. Or do we run Banshee? Maybe we should run Banshee. And let's just run pulse first. Let's test that out. This guy not see me or what? It's not bad. I've no idea where they are. Playing down here, let's see. Yep, okay. Oh, we've got something going on here. I don't know if it's going to be great. But we have something. Yeah, they're all playing there. I might as well join them. <laughs> they are fast, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is strong. Yeah, okay, that was just me being stupid, but that was good. It works. It works. Bleed works wrong. It works really well. Surprisingly well. Just 
change. Oh, we're kind of just bullying them now. Damn it, man. That's what he meant by change. They swapped. Well, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. Holy shit. Did we swap? Because this is actually, to be honest, I thought my, um, I honestly thought that this is going to be the weakest one, but goodness sake, man. Masha, today's luck. Crazy. I got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are working with um, system corruption today, brother. Trying to make it viable. To be honest, I'm playing the weakest version of the build that I thought I would, and it's absolutely destroying. It's very strong right now. Very strong. GG boys. Eight and one. Well, I played the three one hundreds and we played against noobs, so I don't really think that counts. Okay, but obviously this one works. In terms of damage, bleed works, man. If bleed works, pulse resistance is great. So the build we're currently running has got pulse resistance on, got bleed, and we've got perfectly wicked. So we've also got additional status effects from that as well, which makes it even more lethal. We're running Sadist with a backup or a Boros. Very, very nice. Just check what's going on with this. Radius and effect duration. So this was the weakest version of the build. And I think we'll switch in between the three of these as we go. Clark, how are you doing, buddy? Welcome back. Okay, well... We're getting our asses handed to us, so this should be good. Well, we're back, sort of. Yeah, I'm too weak. That's one thing I don't like about system corruption once you've used your 
or additional armor. And to be honest, I'm not. I don't. I don't have a lot because I'm not running the backpack, and even the chest piece. So, I think to make bonus armor. Well, the the set gives you bonus armor, right? But um, this set doesn't give you any bonus armor. This is pure damage. Oh, are we smelling a comeback or are we just taking the piss? Yeah. Yeah, no. You do struggle. You're going to have to play slightly differently with this. But it's good. I like it. It is strong. Well, I played for like 30 seconds. I got three kills. It's not bad. Yeah, the bonus armor is definitely an issue. But that's why the next build that we're going to play is going to be solid. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm coming up with a cold again. So this is this version of the build. It works. I like it. We've got four armor cores, 1.3 million. We're doing a lot of damage, but survivability is very limited, right? Um, this version gives us a lot more bonus armor. We've got unbreakable as well. So effectively, we're running three red cores, um, three blue cores, but we effectively have 2.1 million armor with unbreakable on it as well, which stacks 56, 138. Um, let's try this one. This is the one that I made a short on recently. Adrenaline Rush, definitely, that's on the final build that we're going to, or not the final, but the third build we're going to test. Adrenaline is on there as well. I think is if you play Lady Death without the Razo set, you're gonna struggle. The margin for error and missing shots is just so much more difficult. What am I running? Okay, I'm running. Okay, this has got backpack on. Good. Shit, I still got sticky. I don't want sticky. I wouldn't run sticky on this. Because I want, well, I've got pulse resistance, so that's fine. Whoa, okay. <laughs> the guy found himself. <laughs> okay, so he's running full sniper builds. Amazing. Where, where's this guy? Oh man, I'm playing it with my same people or with similar people. I'm behind you guys. This is bad. Oh, 
What the hell is he running? Well, this is good. I don't have any boost. How am I supposed to shoot that thing, man? Yeah, I can't do that. It's unlucky. Unbreakable works. It does work. Star Grey could be a good option for that last saving grace. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Thing is, I have to wait. With Panda, I have to wait until I get my, my stacks up, right? But I don't have Panda. I thought I was playing with Panda. No wonder I was standing behind, standing behind that thing for so long. Well, they can't see me, right? No, they can't. Eight seven. We still got this. Come back, dude. Come back. Don't get, don't get killed. Well, I can't fight two people at the same time, though. <sighs> Pandas intimidate. How is it on cooldown still? Are you kidding? It's still on cooldown. Come on. Come on. System corruption just doesn't feel strong enough. It's it's sad because it's such a cool set, man. Oh, you guys can't pulse me. This guy's coming by himself. Another sniper there at the back. One, two, three. There's one guy still sitting there. Okay, well, we've got something here. We definitely have something here, guys. Definitely have something here. But come on, guys, come on, come on. I cannot be pulsed, so they think I'm going to be up here, but I'm not. I just need to wait for my pulse to come back. Hey. 
They're pushing right. Oh shit, they can't hear me. Drop him, boys. Drop him, drop him, drop him. Seven, six, five. It's fucked. Damn it, man. Yeah, we'll check. We'll, we'll play some DZ. Play some DZ. Let's see if we can pull off a comeback, kid. Pushing up. How much damage is this guy taking? Yeah, it's, it, it does good damage, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't do enough damage. Where did I get my system corruption? I got it in the dark side. Five. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's almost like the Sadist build is almost the strongest. But I mean, this gives us... The problem is you, you immediately have the 75% or 70% weapon damage from this. But you, this needs to build up. It needs to build up while you're fighting players. So if there's no one close by, you have to wait for that. Don't kill if I see you there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll do my best, man. Look out for Clark, okay? So this is um, this is good. This is also strong. This is pretty average. So I think I'm gonna. This is the one I'm gonna change. Um, I think I might change the headshot damage. That's gonna mess up everything else. I don't want to re-roll things right now. Okay, let's just go crit damage this with catharsis and then that 50 115 headshot is 180 and we run big horn 
with whatever. Okay, so we've got one. We still got only got three blue cores, which again is a problem. What if we run Unbreakable on this? We run Concussion on this. Then we run four pieces like on this. Sharpshooter. Oh, that's the other one that we tried last night. I don't want to. Let's get rid of the EB catharsis so we can make space. So we'll have this version of the. Wait, hold on. So we'll have. Okay, wait, we need to override this with this build. Okay. Then we'll take this build and. Critical hit damage. It's unbreakable. And concussion. 159, 20 security chance, headshot, critical damage is 103. Honestly, guys, don't get me wrong. These builds are good. They're fine. But you can replace this with a different set to get more damage. It's just a fact. I mean, it's just not going to work. It's just not strong enough. It's just not strong enough. So this, we can, if we reroll everything to headshot damage, this can be viable. Because we're hitting headshots anyway. This gives us 15%. So, damn it, guys. Sorry, I need to pee. Just give me a minute. I'm back. Um, three pieces of yarn would be stronger and do the same, basically. I think you're right. I think you're right. It wouldn't give you the bonus. I mean, it is nice to pop that armor on and they don't expect it. It is nice. I like it. But I think... Um, I don't think this is going to be... What is this? I have a I have a headshot version of this already. Okay. Critical head damage. Let's change this back to headshot damage. Okay, that's headshot now as well. And this we can change this headshot also. What are you telling me? I don't have electronics. Okay. 
Um, headshot, 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 right? This, um, I think we should go, if we can get a Providence. I think I have a Providence piece, Providence backpack. That's got Vigilance on it. Just go see. Because we're doubling down on, on headshots. Okay, now I need to invest in some music, good lord. I must have one. I must have one. Kidding? How do I not have one? Because that would have been ideal. If we can put a Providence... Well, this gives us extra weapon, but that's not what I want. Vigilance. I remember the first time I tried System Corruption. Doesn't even work. Turned out I had messed up. Put a heartbreak in my... I did that. <laughs> You're not alone, dude. That happened to me as well. You just can't... You're trying to figure out what the hell am I doing wrong. Yeah, I know exactly how that goes. Okay, this is not going to be ideal, but okay. Let's see if I have Providence. Dude, why do I not have... I can never find the damn stuff that I want in here. Okay, well, Providence backpack would have been really nice. We don't have that now, fortunately. So instead of going for critical hit chance, which is pretty useless on this. Wait a minute, then I have... What's the other one? That other one. Wait a minute, there's another one I have. So I only care about... I can't remember the name of it. Oh, I don't have that either. It's phenomenal, man. That is phenomenal. What is my mailbox? Conflict caches. Well, I don't have a choice. I'm going to have to run weapon damage. Still, got one, two, three blue cores. We don't have unbreakable. Because the only reason I would run the chess piece on this is because of the 15 seconds. But then again, if you're playing conflict, even, even in the dark zone, you really need that much? Probably don't, right? Which means, why don't we try... Headshot. Shit. Now we've got like no reds. It's like all reds. Headshot, headshot. Now everything's black. But one blue. Die instantly. The backpack gives us like a hundred percent bonus armor, which is nice. But we will we won't get damage from headshots. <coughs> <coughs> Even if we run obliterate on this, we need crit hit we need critical hits to increase it. So that's gonna be useless. Unless we feel we don't need the damage. Because of the headshot damage. But it would be nice if you did have the headshot damage. So I put the backpack on this. Right. I put Catharsis back. We get 30% from that. And we've got Unbreakable. So that justifies it at least a little bit. Hundred and eighty headshot. So we can push this to two hundred if we want to. Peace protocol bonus from fifty to hundred. That makes a massive difference.
dude, these guys are constantly walking to me. I'm gonna lose my shit with them. What is going on with the mods? Thank you. Okay, so we've got 190 on this. And we've got catharsis. Because if you think about it, if you know if this gives you hundred bonus armor, if you give it to, if you run the chest, it gives you five percent faster cooldown on 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 the meds. I'd rather have unbreakable and the full pop anyway with pulse resistance. Okay, so you're hitting 440, 50 when you're maxed, right? Serious trauma detected. Where's unbreakable? Why isn't that procking? Four sixty, four fifty six, four ninety, at five hundred. Well, you can one clip. <sighs> Is this going to be viable? Jeez, I don't know. What's the music they play? It's just like uh, gaming music for YouTube. It's like uh, a playlist from Bass Rebels, which has got like no copyright music, no copyright stuff on it. Because, I mean, the idea was. Um, okay, so let's just override this. The idea was this. This can work. I mean, but you don't have unbreakable, so you're gonna you're gonna feel the pain. This doesn't give us. Okay, well we've got ten percent extra damage on that, which is fine. But if we had 15% on it, that, that would have been ideal. This at least gives us weapon. Okay, so we've got this on 175. It's not a lot. You can feel it. But you do have... Let's take the bonus. That pushes it up to 700. Okay, well, hold on. This one, this is actually doing more damage. This is doing more damage. Damn it. Okay, well, we're going to try these two. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Okay. 
Let's see. But you can also run adrenaline on the backpack. <coughs> but you're gonna get rid of um a lot of damage. I see you switched your baseline damage test. Mine is named in one mag for PvP. Alright. Like one mag to to clip it. What do you mean? You can drop the name and when do you apply it? Yeah, I kind of tested against Elite for <coughs> <coughs> for Dark Zone. Named is uh, just a bonus. It's all theoretical, isn't it? It's a stem to still standing dummy. So if you can push around 300k shots, then you've got a start of a build. You can push up anything above half a million shots, you're good. This dish pushed out 700, so that's why I'm testing it. Just see which one I'm running. Okay, I'm running this one. Yeah, they're going to push up on the right. They usually do that. We could go across the left. I can't be pulsed, so I don't have to worry. But again, I have to be up close and personal for these guys at the top there. Well, it's not bad. Now I don't have any armor. Why, bro? That's my player. Jeez, that thing takes years to get rid of. How is he dead? He's behind us. Shit. Yeah, obviously, obviously greedy there. It's my own fault. Man and pony are kind of counterintuitive of system corruption. Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to wait for the stacks. I want to either build it up automatically. Yeah, I just don't, I don't like waiting. I like to be in their faces. That's why the, um, 
the build that we created when which was it? The Immortal Pony build that I just created. I think it's very strong. I was still throwing landmines and shit. What is up with that? Okay, that's where they are. They're still there. Okay, well, that's not cool, dude. Not cool at all. Guys, I'm sorry to say, but I don't think this build is strong enough. And remember, it all becomes relative over time because, I mean, you're you're comparing it to everything else that is there. It's almost like forcing it to be viable. If it's not viable, it's not viable. No? All these twats are now sitting on top of that. Do I have catharsis? Yes, I do. Okay, well, I'll see. That's that's cool. Artillery turrets. <sighs> Guys, the guy can't best me in a gunfight. I gotta be killed by one of his turrets. I mean, honestly, that would just feel pathetic. I would feel pathetic. Personally. But to be honest, this is better. What we're running here now is better. Does anyone have a pulse? Who's this guy shooting? Two of them. They're running straight past me. Yeah, this one's the better. This is the best build so far. Not because I'm getting the kills. You can just feel you've got more um, sustain on this. Spawn switch, please tell me it didn't switch. You gotta be kidding me, it switched. When the rat when the cheese gets pushed, the rats come out. That's good. I like that. Guys, just hang back. Let them push us. They've got they've got they've got armor. Come back. Just let them push us.
We'll get rid of their boost first. Okay, boost is out. Jeez, I'm getting smoked. Next dude. Very kind. Okay, we've all got back all we need back. Let's see. Push this, we can push this. Do I smell a comeback, boys? Do I smell a comeback? Is the reach way and wicked? This is not Ridgewick. No, this is um, System Corruption with Unbreakable and the Backpack. Which is ridiculously strong. The Backpack is always strong. Everyone goes, you know, apeshit about the, um, about the chest piece. Because it's got a 15 second cooldown. But I like the armor. Drop him, boys. Drop him, drop him. I'm gonna get a supply. Supply drop being claimed by friendly. Imagine we can um I've got an idea. It's gonna be ridiculous. I might throw the game, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Or are they all just going to wait here? Not cool, bro. like a bunch of pushes up there aren't they we can't really get up there unless 25 seconds oh shit yeah bro that's what happens Five seconds. Pussies here, pussy, 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 one and two. Kinda of like how Umbra works. I like Umbra as well. It's a good it's a good um It's a good set. I like it. Nice. Eight and three. Three level 100s and they got bossed. <laughs> nice. <coughs> to be fair, they play to win. That's what matters. I'll do the same thing, or I would have done the same thing. Yeah, this is, guys, I think this is the best version we have. Personally, it's just the best version we have. Because this gives us the cooldown, but 
You know, it's strong, but it doesn't give us unbreakable. I think unbreakable is crucial. If you don't run unbreakable, you're gonna be you're gonna have problems with this because you're still building stacks while even the the unbreakable procs. Um, okay, what else did I, I want to try? I wanted to try a a spotter version of this. Spot root. Right. So for that, we're going to need the king breaker. Everyone goes, you know, crazy about the the LMG. What is it called? The black market RPK. I think it's fine, but it's just not the same. It doesn't feel the same as the king breaker. The king breaker just feels strong. You know, it feels heavy. Um, which I like. But we're going to have to play. Link lays a pointer on this guy. Okay, SMG and that. Perfect. And we're going to run. How can what can we annoy them with? We can run sticky. We can run seeker. Or we can just run plain old pulse, because why not? Ten percent radius and effect duration. It's not going to be as solid, but it's better. Right, so that, and then this one. Now we need to run spotter on the chest. That's what I thought about doing. Because <sighs> if we Run perfect spotter on the chest, or just spotter in general. That's just fifteen percent. So that's going to go to thirty-five percent. Hundred and fifty headshot damage. Let's put link laser on this. We will put anything optimal range stability on that. Accuracy. More stability, maybe some accuracy. Let's go see what this dish is out. Bloody hell, this is so slow. Good lord. 400k headshots isn't bad. Daniel, welcome to the stream, bro. Okay, this pushes out 500. It's good. It's good. It's very strong headshot. It is. But against the region build, it's not going to pump out enough. Well, it's consistently like 400k headshots. I think, I think we need, we need Unbreakable. Thing is, do we need the backpack? Also. Okay, well, let, let's just stick with... Wait, hold on. Yeah. Let's stick with this version. Um, let's stick with this version for now. And then we'll have another version of this. But we'll run... Critical head damage. Headshot damage. Jeez, it's all reds now. 
and then run something with concussion on it. Bounce that's going to give us armor regen, hazard protection. This has got vigilance on it. Increase the weapon damage by 25%. I mean, you could run that. Also, going to push up crit chance. I think I know what build we need for this. I don't think I have the pieces. That's the sad part of it. Crit chance, companion. As a protection, a chance. Because it's five percent to the armor, we're probably gonna need that. I'm thinking if we get a providence piece here, there's another fifteen percent headshot piece that we can get we can put on here. On that we put concussion, and we can turn both of these into blues. That would be great. We are going to have to think about that one. Okay, so this we can play companion, but it doesn't have headshots. So that's kind of useless. And I don't have anything that I can re-roll. Or anything that gives us a significant benefit to running it at this time. <sighs> Unless. I mean... We could do something like um, Ninja Bike, but it takes away damage. Might have to just get, well, we've got. Let's just go with red. Let's just go with. It. We only have a red piece, so it is what it is. So we're literally running. This is never going to work. This is never going to work. It's never going to work. I need different pieces. I mean, this is the other version then. Got at least three blues, which seems solid because we've got the hundred percent armor and we've got unbreakable. That's the only thing that justifies running it that way. I guess we're gonna have to see. Eighty-nine. It's like four hundred k. It's not bad. It isn't. But like I said, what is that piece? Let me just find a piece of it so I can call it by name. Here we go. The H. The Habsburg. Good chance has a protection on that. 
Um, Habsburg. I do have this weapon handy. That's useless. Okay, critic damage and then hazard protection on this one. We could roll headshot damage onto this and we'll have a glove, right? But my glove is my... Oh, right, that's fine. But wait. Can I... Um, did I get armor on this? Yes, we do. So... We could technically. Get more headshot damage. But again, I don't want to do that. Weapon headshot. Got a plan. Let's risk it. <sighs> nope. Don't have enough components. Okay, so we, we're running this. This is what we have. What if we run Memento? What if we run Memento? Wrong memento. Conflict, this is not going to be good for conflict. Still only got two cores. And then we run Panda. Just remember, when I procked, when I proc the bonus armor from this, that's when I get panda. That's when I get the panda damage with it. The thing is, is this the best to run it with pulsing? Should I run something like... Um, And you can probably run the Eagle Bearer. Run the Eagle Bearer to also get tenacity. I think this is what Archim ran the other day. I think it's what he ran, I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to work in conflict, but then again, if you do get that kill, I mean, we'll, we'll test it out regardless. We'll see it. Okay, so we still got pulse resist, but three cores. 144 headshot damage. That's not a lot, is it? See, this is where you should run the big horn with this for the extra headshot damage. Let's just test my theory here quickly. Okay, so we don't have Panda yet. There we go. There goes Panda. We're hitting 580, 550. 
and we've got tenacity as well so i'm gonna actually have to proc that extra bonus armor before i go into a, an engagement then get the momentous stack for the rest hopefully we also have tenacity this is gonna suck to pull off but we're gonna do it anyway I think this is a better, this is a Dark Sun build. This is a good Dark Sun build. So. <sighs> no, we don't want Pulse on this. I'm going to run Gunner. Gunner, and we're running Banshee again. We need all the help we can get. Okay, what's our headshots? 150, right? 144. It's not very strong. But hopefully, when we get the boost and everything, we should be all right. And then we just need to go to the dark zone and test it out there. Yeah, I'm just restarting the playlist because honestly, these things are going to put me to sleep. Okay, so we're running Panda Memento, so we need to push the damage we need to. Need to use our talent. There they are. Of course they're at the back. Of course they're going up there. So fucked. Yeah, tenacity is gonna hurt us. <laughs> tenacity is gonna hurt us with this. They're really just going to play around that corner. Okay. 
Got my teammates here at the back. Just checking that corner. I can't pulse me though, so why don't you come at me, bro? I said the ball there. Both of you run away, come on. Don't ask me questions. I keep on forgetting. My head's always empty. There's too much that I don't know. Don't ask me questions. I keep on forgetting. My head's always empty. There's too much that I don't know. Where's the boost? Get the boost, bro. You're welcome. Where are you taking the boost? This commentator is a bit slow, man. Bloody hell. Shot on the side. I'm just being outplayed. There's nothing wrong with the build. There's nothing wrong with the build. I have to do some chip damage on these guys. I didn't use my bonus armor. It's too weak. This is just too weak. You skill playing wuss. Daryl, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. I think this is a dark zone build, guys. This is not a con. This is not a conflict build. This is a dark zone build. I'm not in combat. What are you on about? Let's have another go at this. For this version. Did you see what I have on this? Okay. Got unbreakable with backpack.
Okay, I sit down, little boy. Yeah, I smoked you both. With your silly little builds. I should not have reloaded there. Yeah, this is this is this is viable. I still prefer the big arm build though. I still prefer the big arm build. Yeah, I'm doing good, Daryl. Thanks for asking, buddy. So the Eagle Bear build is definitely a dark zone build, we know that. This is, I think, probably both. Um, holy shit! You shot the, the, that guy just that guy just shot me through a wall. That guy just shot me through a wall. Rewind that on the stream and tell me I'm wrong. And I'll take it on the chin. It's perfectly fine. But that guy shot me through a wall. I don't give a shit about your bleed. Push him! Want to do landmarks? Yeah, we can do landmarks. Why not? Well, we won. Yeah, this is nice. I like this. Let's see. Nice. Nine and seven. Can't complain. If the dark ma if the dark zone is dead, that's perfect. If the dark zone is dead, it's perfect for you to um, clear landmarks like that. I'm going to test some builds in there against some players, so you're welcome to join me. Okay, so we've got three system corruption builds. No, I'm lying. I've got more. No, we do. We've got three. This one, which I think is the best for conflict. Might be for Dark Zone as well. We'll see. This is good for conflict. Might be good for Dark Zone. I think this is purely Dark Zone. I think. So let's have a look.
get our stacks up a little bit. Give it a go. Doing a hell of a lot. Memento does help a lot with landmarks. We are hitting really hard with this. In a PvP to hit 300, it's good. 600 headshots, that's ridiculous. What is this guy doing, man? One million? What? Okay, I was thinking, yeah, because I've got three, three red cores, that's why. Those numbers for a moment, they did not make any sense. Where's this fun, dude? <sighs> okay, where are we with stacks? With the stacks. We're almost full stacks. sleep. Where are you going? This is... This is solid. Solid. Yeah, you're doing a million. That's a lot. Let's see what we'll get. Pestilence. Because it'll be nice.
Not cool, bro. Shit, I might die. Okay, well, that's not cool, man. How about we get rid of you first? Get tenacity on this guy. And another little exotic. Not bad. Good players, you know, I want to extract this before I go full boss mode. of a shimmy on this one. I have to check every time I've got pulse resist on. I forget about it every time. Let's run back. Any case, any case. So I've got a feeling these guys are not pushing that. They're just staying there. You guys missed it. <laughs> uh, they couldn't. If they did the hijack, oh shit, if the hijack, it's no point in laughing that, right? Let's see. 
Please tell me I extracted. Please. Yes. <laughs> ah, nice. Couldn't see where I was because remember, pulse resist, baby. Okay, now we're going to have some fun. They were there like very quickly. It's crazy how fast they were there. Guys, we're definitely drum and basing it out. Bloody hell. Hello, person. I need that damage. Thank you. 240. That as well. Thank you. This makes sense. Where the hell are they? I just need some stacks, man. You would think it hits hard, but it doesn't hit that hard. Or it doesn't feel like it's hitting insanely hard. But then again, I'm used to like my Angry Bird build and all of those things, which are crazy. Bloody hell. Yeah, that does a difference. That makes a difference. Target's out. Wondering if um, headshot is the way to go on this one. And if you hit it, you hit incredibly hard, obviously. <sighs> well, apart from that four stack, there's not much going on here. Extra damage activated. I wonder if this tenacity have a cooldown. Does tenacity have a cooldown? 
15 seconds. Punching me, bro. Five sixty. This is system corruption. Yes, Malang, it is. Oh fuck! I'm in trouble. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. that. Nope. This is system corruption. Okay, let's go into our favorite little dark zone. So, we're running Panda, got some, st I don't know why I'm running status effect, this is actually a waste, if you think about it, it's a waste, but I need something with blue on here, headshot could, no, I don't have anything else with Panda, yeah, I thought about Fenris. I just thought about that right now. I'm looking for something I can re-roll. Because I do want Panda on it. And I only have it on these pieces. Idea would be Providence. Don't know what the hell I did with all of my... Spotter... Oh, what? This is a red that we currently have. No, it isn't. It's a blue. Shit. So I can get Providence with this. That would make sense. But I don't have that. Fenris might be a good alternative to this. Browser is just going to give a skill haste. So I can rerun this for Panda, but then I'm going to have all that red. And that's if I'm getting all headshots, yes. Because it is a headshot build. Headshot damage. With Unbreakable. I don't want Unbreakable. I need Panda. So we've got this on Panda, which is going to give us armor region, but then have the stats on that. This has got headshot and glass cannon. Damn it, that's unfortunate, man. Because I need a blue, because I've only got I've got these in reds. I've got three reds here. Unless I change this entire build to crit hit damage. Because if we do that, then I can get a blue here. Then I'll have one, two, three blues still, and then I can run whatever I want here. That's going to mess up all the other builds. Because this is a headshot build, and this is a headshot build as well. The status effects is useless. It's not doing anything for us. Razo, at least we've got skill haste on this.
This is dumb, but I'm going to do it. I do it on this. This has got obliterate. I'm just thinking if if we need a ticket for this to proc our panda. Wouldn't it be better to not run panda and rather run something like obliterate so that you have the damage immediately but obliterate requires good hit good hit shots and if you're running a headshot build you're not going to get a lot of that you need to get at least 60 percent credit chance <sighs> what about run fenris then Things I need this for a for a different build. Guys, I don't know what to do here. What if we just run obliterate? That's got a red core. This has unbreakable. It will give us 15% headshot damage and health. This has got spotter on it. Yeah, this is not this is not great. If we can get a Providence piece with Panda on it, then this would work. I'm just thinking about it practically. You need to either use your ability to get Panda to proc, and that only that's like for only a couple of seconds. Twenty second cooldown, repair twenty armor, grants fifty percent bonus armor, and hide your nameplate for five seconds. So it's only like a five seconds. In five seconds, you can get the bonus from that. If you then kill the player and you get the bonus armor, that's all good and well. But why would you not run something else like obliterate on this? And then change everything to crit chance, crit damage. Because what would be ideal is if you run a crit damage build like this. You change all of this stuff to crit damage. You run obliterate here and you run concussion here with the eagle bearer. That will do a hell of a lot of damage. Alternatively, we can just run unbreakable on this and we run concussion on this. Because we're increasing weapon damage anyway. But that's gonna take out take away all of my blue cores. Oh man, system corruption is just not it just doesn't seem viable, man. I mean, we can make a build. Without question, it's not an issue. We make a build. And it's usable. But then comes the, you know, the caveat is what else is out there that's better? I mean, I can tell you now that this build is better than that. Angry Bird will do a lot more burst damage, but you don't have survivability. Mortal Pony is phenomenal. It's the video that just came out today. It's probably, it's probably going to be the first build that I'm going to max out in terms of my statistics.
So maybe this is not. The thing is, I need the EB to be viable in something. I mean, I had that EB striker build, but I didn't want to run striker. I want to run this. What's the time now? 20 past 10. If I run Providence. Because then we should maybe try and go get the pieces we want. So let's just look at this now. We want chess piece. Unbreakable chess piece. Yes. With Providence. And then I want a Habsburg backpack with concussion on it. That's what I want. Let's go run like two countdowns so we can make this build work. I just run the browser. Okay, so we need Habsburg and we need Providence. Whatever comes first. Jeez, I've never tried for a Habsburg piece, ever. Because if we get the if we get both of those pieces, then then we've got a build to work with. Because to be honest with you, as much as I like these builds, this is very this is this is very strong. It really is. So So just to be clear, we can I need two blue pieces. Yeah, that's what I need. I need two blue pieces. What do we have? Named caches. We're going to get some exotics. Is this guy going to start the countdown? How many exotic pieces I have? How long asked for this last night? I can't remember. 90. I had over 100. Dude, start the countdown, man. You have left the group. Waste of time. Damn damn thing. Thank you.
So we need a chest piece. We need a backpack. DJ, how you doing, man? Testing is not going bad. I just need... For this build that I have in my mind, I need pieces that I don't have. So... I think we're going to fix that now. Try and get it. And then hopefully... We can build the build that we want to build. That was a lot of builds in one sentence. I'm telling you guys, we're going to make system corruption work one way or another, but it's going to take time. <coughs> and everyone's been asking for system corruption builds on the channel, so I'm going to spend some proper time on it and come up with something that works. So you might not have it like tomorrow or in the... We might have it over the weekend. We're going to continue to build, test everything in the evenings, trying to get system corruption going. Okay. Protect VIP sucks. Cooling tower. Please go cooling tower. Cooling tower, please. Sounds good, mate. Get the pieces you cause to see such a corruption work. I want to make it work. It's just, it need, to be honest, if they kept it where you could, um, Possibly use perfectly efficient on the chest and you can heal and it would reset effectively and you can have like almost infinite heals. That would make it almost similar to the Nomad set that we had in Division 1. Then it would have been absolutely fantastic to play with. Guys are tanky, bloody hell. The problem I have with system corruption is where the damage is going to come from. For some reason, none of these jokers are dropping any bloody loot. What's going on with that? How on earth are they this tanky?
not what we want. There was a moment when there was a bug, I guess a bug in the game. Where we were able to do that for just a moment, you know? So where the hell is everybody? Okay, Habsburg we've got... None of this is going to work. Getting the first piece is not the issue, it's the second one, because the probability changes. Secure the shade cache. Yes. Because Habsburg can either be the unbreakable piece we want, or it can be the concussion piece we want. Trying to get it to work for a while now. Oh yeah, I remember. What's um, what's your clan? Something to do with wolves? In the mistakes, boy. That hurt. Alrighty. There's still people there protecting the bloody VIP. Are you kidding me? It's so for everyone that's watching, I did the same mistake, so I learned from it. Protecting the VIP takes too long. It's more efficient to run somewhere else. Okay, turbine, jeez Louise, now we gotta run all the bloody way back. Six minutes. Mm. <sighs> so that's why I prefer running headshot builds on system corruption. Because at least. I mean, if you got, if you can stack up 130% critical hit damage, right, with 58 or whatever percent critic chance, you're always going to have someone with 60%, you know, or 58% critic chance, and then like 160 critic damage. It's always going to be someone that can outquit damage you. But if you play headshots, then you don't have to worry about any of those things and you can really pump it up to like 200%. So if we can get 30% additional headshot damage on that build, it's 200% headshot damage on the EB with um, system corruption. 
And then you add a blitz rate, and then you add another blitz rate, you add unbreakable, and you add concussion. You're adding an additional, what, 50 or whatever weapon damage on top of that. And then you have the tenacity buff. So it stacks up on each other. Shooting the guy in the ass. Get up, get up. Fuck, we've got four minutes. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. Armor, armor regions. Kill damage. Damn it, man. Even if I can get armor regen with a headshot, it doesn't matter. I just need a headshot on it and armor, and it's fine. Everything else, I don't really care. At least for proof of concept. This might be harder than I thought. Um, nothing. Here comes the shark. Bloody hell, this is disappointing. Super disappointing. These are all level 1000 players, most of them. We've got to be we're miles away. We are miles away. The end of the hunters. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's gonna go. It's gonna come for me. I'm gonna be in trouble. That's what I thought. This guy's gonna kill me. Is he gonna kill me? No, he's not. We're not, we're not pumping out enough damage. As a team, I mean. 
Zero loot, what is going on with this game right now? Fucking kidding me. Just get out. <sighs> let's just get this. Let's just do this properly, or else I'm just gonna get annoyed. You guys can probably tell I'm already annoyed. I'm so sick of playing countdown. I'm so sick of playing countdown. One, two, three. So this is what I run in PvP, for those of you guys that are interested. PvE, sorry, PvE. Which I don't play a lot. One seventy-seven credit damage, fifty-two credit chance, and then we get the bonuses from this as well. So we're pushing this up to what? Um, Twenty-five. So we're getting like two hundred percent. Countdown's a lot easier with more people in your group. Has better chances. Yeah, that's true. That is a true story. Um. I'm not running on this. Let's go get Gunner. Anything that can give us stacks. Do I have a better shotgun? I, what the hell is this? Reloading guns 1% weapon damage for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 25 times. Wow, I didn't, uh, I didn't even know I had that. Okay. This is what we're going to run. That with probably shield, just because we can. Active regen, damage bonus, damage bonus. Let's try Providence. You now I've got a feeling Habsburg is going to be a pain. And I'm only going to use it for this build. So it makes sense to probably just try Providence. Okay, so what we're, look, what we're fishing for is we're fishing to get a Providence or Hasbro or whatever the thing's name is. Peace on here and here. One of each. One's going to have Unbreakable on it, and the other one has to have Concussion on it. That's going to push this up to 100 and... What is it? 70? Headshot damage. I'm Grip Leader. Okay, well, we, there's three of us. So that's going to push this up to... called echo no it's called support so that's going to push that up to 170 something which would be nice and we're ready to go we 
you never need help getting gear from counter. I'm always happy to help you, man. KVP, yeah, that's the one. The Valley of the Wolves clan. Shout out to Valley of the Wolves clan. I'm part of FTC. But um, BJ kindly asked that I shout out their clan. It's not something I'm going to do all the time, but anytime, bro. Happy to help fellow division players as well. I'm part of a clan that does that as well. If you guys are keen to join either clans, get in touch or just join. Okay, let's go. We're already one down. We're seven. Dude, I'm so sick of this playlist. Oh shit, I got the wrong weapon. My bad. Why do people rush to do this? It's not like it's it's giving everyone XP, but it's almost like everyone's always trying to get it. Okay, we've got we've got gamers here. I'm happy. We've got gamers here. This is gonna go quick. I just hit for three million. Just hit for three million. Brits. What is he? I don't even see him. Okay, let's see where we're going. Turbine secure the area. I want to run Gunner, actually. Where's this guy's friends? Come on. Providence chest piece or backpack? Chest piece. What do we have on the chest? Useless. Chest piece. Perchance. No. Chest piece. All reds. Critical hit damage. Damn it, man. This thing hits incredibly hard. No. Just turn around G. Can't jump down. Yeah, we are rolling through this. Any time, bro. Any time. We're on about 30 minutes. We're still in the up getting gear. Yeah, I'm going to play for another hour. DJ Rain V7. PS5, though. I don't think. Is this crossplay? I don't think this is crossplay. Yeah, 
Okay, where are we going? Shade crate? Yeah, shade crate. Definitely shade crate. If it was crossplay, you'd have a lot of upset console players. Where the hell is everybody? Dude, this was so quick. It's ridiculous. <sighs> nope. <sighs> I actually wanted to run... I'm pretty sure it's um it's not crossplay bro which is unfortunate it would just be unfair Gotta play the objective, boys. Thank you for the stacks, man. Lander fly fly. Oh, well, this melts, obviously.
Holsters. Come on, baby. Armor regen. Jeez, if, if this had had, if this had headshot, damn it. It's not. I'm not even gonna go into it. Explosive decoy, <sighs> nothing I want. Oh, the joy. Look at this, guys. Guess what's going to happen now? Have a guess. Yeah, it's unfortunate, right? You don't want to play on PC anyway. Look how much deltas we're getting. Just crashed. This is super annoying. Very, very annoying. Well, we didn't really get, we didn't get the pieces we wanted anyway, so I guess that's fine. Massive pain in the ass. I just close my window on my door. Okay, it's starting up. I'm going to get myself a drink and then we'll go again. Platform I am playing on PC, which at the moment doesn't want to start up for some reason. What is wrong with this game? Didn't they just fix this stuff? I thought they just fixed this. Black screen still, but I'll be I'll be on in a sec. Probably. 
Actually, I didn't. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think I actually have the build. Another version of the build. 15 seconds is not a long time, right? It's reasonable. So if we don't run Unbreakable, then we can run Concussion on the backpack. And we can also run Catharsis, which is going to give us another 30%. Okay, we're back. Finally. So. We're looking for those two pieces, right? This isn't bad. <coughs> this isn't bad. But what if we run chest piece? I don't have any more space. But let's say, we, what if we run chess piece here? And we run concussion here. We run catharsis here. This could be viable. Because I'm just thinking, even though the other two pieces are just adding headshot damage, right? But not... Concussion is already adding that, and now we're also getting it from the Catharsis, which is an extra 30, but it adds more benefits to it. This has headshot on it, could it damage? So we're still running three. And we've got Tenacity. Let's go test this out. So we're sitting on what? 145 still. We've got more red cores. Headshot, 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 headshot. Pulse and then headshot. Question is, do we run Eagle Bear or do we run Big Horn? I do think conflict is a good place to test everything because you're not getting any benefits from it. All right, okay, come on, regen for us a little bit, will you? Just on a named enemy. We're hitting 400k. We don't have to do any stacks or anything. And we get tenacity with that. All right, that's that's step one. Step two, now we switch to this. We're still hitting 400, but look at you, you're just pushing up so much more. 630. So this will be 1v1, and this will be, Eagle Bear will be, you're playing against more guys. And we've got 15 seconds on the cooldown. Can't find 
We'll try both. We'll see what happens. Three blues, three reds. I'm just wondering if you run chest and backpack. That would be nice, man. Got him. Both of us got smoked. All of us got smoked. Why would you go back up yourself, bro? And do it. How are they not dying? I killed two of them already. Fuck this. Just, you, could, you can't play this. I can't play this. Just 
it's low. Try again. But this time in the dark zone. I just killed that guy. That was close, wasn't it? New player, I'm not going to kill him. Fox Toxy, bro. Let's see, bro. Turkey. Inspect. 11,000. It's more than. If you don't hit your headshots. Might see some action.
This lady is burning me, bro. One, two. Ooh. He's playing bird. No, he's not. But absolutely wasted on that. I'll give it to you, bro. You're better. I'm definitely finding it hard to um, to make this work, I'm not going to lie. I'm finding it hard. But we'll keep trying. And we're running three red cores, I mean, that's crazy. Without any unbreakable armor. It's madness. I don't think you can play this without Unbreakable. Honestly, I just don't think you can. Because the bonus armor you get from just a four piece without chest and back, or f without backpack, it's just. Yeah, this is not strong enough. I can feel it already. Shit. Should we go back to credit chance, credit damage? It's one thing we can do. One, two, three blue cores. The problem with this build is you're going to struggle to clear landmarks. Let me show you guys. Well, not struggle, but it's not going to be as effective. I threat enemy patrol. Let's 
guy's gonna go. Know him. Play him a lot. Unless they're all teamed up, because then we're all in trouble. Yeah, guys, I gotta tell you, when you have a build that you know does an insane amount of burst damage, you end up you end up running around with confidence. You know what I mean? I don't have confidence in this build. Nice, bro. Nice. Okay, maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I changed my mind. Backpack is powerful. You guys see that um, armor that just came in? And the unbreakable? Yeah, there's definitely something. Because, I mean, he shot first as well. Man, I'm going kill is nice. Jeez. Okay, we've got some dudes coming our way. Build proficiency cash. Mm -hmm. 
So let's see, where is this activity going on? Okay, so they're just playing around that again. Honestly, I don't think you can run. You can run something else. Here we go. Hello, Red Agent. Where are you? Where's the rogue agent? Can we just see a rogue agent here? Can't be passed, bro. What are you guys doing? We're probably just testing builds. He's just killing his friend. That's literally what they're doing. They're killing each. They kill, he's killing his friend for uh, for uh, XP. Guys, I can't see how I'm going to make this work with the EB or anything else. Well, we can go back to crit damage and we can try something different. I'm just not convinced that it's going to... It's going to be good. Rogue agent, huh? Good. Where is he? Maybe it's just those two guys. I know there's a rogue agent nearby. Where's this person?
These two guys are just killing each other. That's hilarious. That's why. <laughs> I can be an absolute asshole and just go rogue and kill both. Maybe the guy just wants to farm some levels, you know? Let's leave him let's leave him be. I mean honestly. I think this is the best we're gonna get. Cause everything else feels weak. This feels okay as well. But this just feels weak. And even if I have the boost, I just don't think it's going to work out. I mean, the only other thing I can think of is running something like this um, with the Eagle Bearer. But obviously with system corruption pieces on it. You have to pump up critic damage, critic chance. Well, we can try it out. I mean, why not? I mean, we know this. We've got this build now. Know that I prefer this one as the best head one, headshot one. So I've got a bit of, I've got like just like around 40 minutes left to play. So let's, let's try and make it viable. So this is now the headshot version of it. Right. This is the other version of it. A blue there. Can't run something with unbreakable on here. I can probably run Fenris with unbreakable. What about bleed system corruption? I tried that. I think we tried that at the start of the stream, which was which was quite fine. Um, it's not bad. So I ran um, Ridgeways, and then I ran We're Perfectly Wicked at the top with status effects on it. So yeah, that it, it does work, but if you don't have any protection whatsoever because when I mean, there's no other way you can really apply status effects or with the bleed effect at least we run something like this this has good damage right then we can run the picaros down here Critical hit chance, possibly. I've got a critical hit damage version of this. Headshot, armor regen, hazard protection. Maybe I don't. Let's just move that. Oh, wait. I typically just, yeah, critical damage. Yeah, so we tried it at the start of the stream. So this is good damage. Change this again back to good hit damage. What is this? Also good hit damage. Oh, so I've been playing with less headshot damage all along. Kidding me? Damage. Um,
but it damage already. What did I already change this? Yes, I did. I think. I'm so tired. Can't keep track of what I'm doing. All right. So we've got quitty damage, quitty damage, quitty damage, quitty damage. All right. So we'll have four blue cores for this. We're gonna have to spec into crit chance, obviously. With 130 on the eagle bearer. I'll put pulse resist on this. Okay, so we're looking at 48, 130. This is not great. Jeez, I'm just, I just wonder. Because it would be nice if I could run. The coyotes mask on this. But that means I'm only going to have two blue cores. Which is nuts. So this effectively gives us three red cores. Four blue cores with unbreakable. To me, that is good. It makes sense. Normal pulse. This way, have Banshee pulse. Armor, we've got 1.5 million armor. No region. Because if we could run the coyotes on that, that would have been. At least we can boost the damage up a bit. Because I mean, if you can do more damage than they can quicker, then that's fine. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna lose um efficiency caches. Okay, but anyway, so this, this is what we have with this. It's now credit damage. Where's that guy going? I thought it was going to be the first victim. Okay, well, let's go. Let's see this. Time to kill is too long. It's way too long. Time to kill is too long. Guys, I am disappointed. I don't think this is going to work. I, you can just feel. I mean, I've played this game for over a thousand hours and I can tell you this is not going to work. It's just not enough. 130 is not enough. There's one more thing we can try. But it's not going to be with the Eagle Bearer. So 
So it's effectively this build. But we're running chess piece. So we've got a blue on that. We're running... Adrenaline beats. Matador. Then again, you're also going to struggle with, um, you're again going to struggle with clearing landmarks really quickly. Put headshot on that now. Headshot on this. Headshot on this. Headshot on this. This has what? Weapon, crit chance, crit damage. But I'm going to switch that to headshot. After I get more electronics. So, three blue, three red. Oh man, this is also going to be a problem. <laughs> but it could work. We'll have to retry that, but that's not going to work. And I'm sick of the dark sun. And I think we're going to do this in peace and quiet for a bit. All right, so we're running the Matador. Not, the thing is, we're also not running, um, we don't have... Um, 1.4 million armor, 23% of that is what a quarter. So looking at like 300, 350 bonus armor that you're getting. This gives you 50. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a stretch. At this point in time, I think Unbreakable with the backpack, with Catharsis is better. Okay, we we're in it. We're in it already. Rogue Mender Seeker Mine detected. Can almost drop me. Hostile Mender Seeker Mine detected. Can't be pulsed. Rogue Defender Drone detected. Where are these guys? Hostile defender drone detected. Agent down. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hostile stinger hive detected. Being smoked. Serious trauma detected. Look at the guy sitting in the bush with a fucking shield. Are you kidding me, Diesel Boy 41? 
Bro. It's very smart, but jeez, man. It sits in the bush. It's like we're playing Fortnite. Fuck off with your sniper. I thought that was my player, actually. Agent down. Agent deceased. Boost about to come online. Boost now active. Smart is playing um, bird. It's good. It's playing bird. The Ouroboros, that's very strong. First time is just gonna be on a different level. It's not weak, don't get me wrong. The build isn't weak. But with Unbreakable, it's better. Thanks, bro. Boost will soon deactivate. Uh. Boost has expired. Stinger Hive player, huh? It's just so pathetic. Guys, I can't make this work. Can't make system corruption work. So my impression is that it's a shit set. You can't. There's, there's no point. You can't. You can't compete with anything different. You can't compete with other stuff. You just can't do it. I mean, I'm just going into with this now. Just just for a moment. I'm sending you a specialization supply drop. Agent down. Rogue Defender Drone detected. Hostile Defender Drone detected. My entire team is fucking dead. Artillery turret detected. What is the point? Hostile Artillery Turret detected. An agent needs assistance. We're gonna feed him. The, supply drop. the specialization supply drop has been claimed by the enemy. Okay, team, let's try again. Vital science critical. Agent down. Agent final signs zero. Agent down. I'd love to see these guys. Who the was level 40? I know that. But when you look at. Why, bro? I 
I think I'm gonna have to change the title of the videos. You can't. You can't make system corruption great again. It's shit. It's relative to everything else, it's just shit. It's bad. Everything else is better. I'd rather run these tank builds than I run that. But you've got more confidence in it. All of it. Um, stampede build. This is better than system corruption. It feels better. Everything just works better. Um... This is the blue horn boat that I was working on. I mean, it's, it's just not, it's not viable. It's just not. And it's not because the set can't work. Of course it can work. But I mean, you want to make a proper, you, I like making stuff that's effectively allowing you to use it in whatever occasion. Solo, within teams, etc. It's just not good enough. Neutralize all enemies before you run out of reinforcements. An agent needs assistance. Boost about to activate. Both of them got smoked. Always nice to uh, get into a map like this. Rogue stinger hive detected. Everyone died. Detected. Everyone died. is being taken by the enemy and the enemy has acquired the boost rogue explosive seeker mine detected hostile explosive seeker mine detected an agent needs assistance agent down I mean, you can't compete with that, bro. Just, you can't. So I just wiped an entire squad with that. I mean, you can't, you, there's no way to compete with this build, with the system corruption build. Why would you play system corruption? This guy's getting regulars. This it really pisses me off. Smart. Agent down. You just don't get enough damage. There's no way to do to do that. There's just no way. Why am I playing this? I would play Banshee with this. Agent down. Rogue Stinger Hive detected. Hostile Stinger Hive detected. Rogue Explosive Seeker Mine detected. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Supply drop being claimed by friendly. The specialization supply drop is in friendly hands. Immediate medical assistance. 
assistance needed. Got killed by skills. Incapacitated. Nice. Agent deceased. Killed by skills. This seems better for DZ, but no, but even in the DZ, you're gonna come up against guys with massive tanky builds. You can't do enough damage, even if you've got all red. Think about it like this, right? You need to have, you need, if, if you look at a differential equation of um, damage to armor, if you can put out similar damage that you have in armor, right? Imagine that for a moment. Then you've got a very strong build. If you can do more damage with seven blue cores than your armor with something like a striker or, you know, a bird or whatever, that's a viable thing. You know, that's a very strong build for PvE, PvP, and all that stuff. You know, so you can't do much with the system corruption build because you can't get any bloody damage. You can't do anything with it. The only benefit from it is for five seconds you get bonus damage and you get additional armor. That is it. The fight is halfway done. There's, n there's nothing more you can you can do with it. Hostile explosive seeker mine detected. Boost about to come online. Agent down. Boost now active. So we just got our play to this, but he's to your left, bro. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Dude, sitting here is not helping anybody. He's playing regulars. Oh man, what a dick. No, he's on my team and all that, but if you're playing regulars, you're just a noob, man. Yeah, so I can't, I can't be an advocate for system corruption, guys. I just can't. And catharsis beats it outright. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can you can run just you can just run brand sets. Or get, I don't know what the difference. The, the, you can run gold sets, and you can out damage system corruption. You can still have pulse resist. You know, it's just it's useless. And I'm pretty um, <laughs> five kills. <laughs> and I just got in. That's nice. Um. Yeah, guys, I don't think, uh, I can't in good conscience tell you guys, this is the best system corruption build. Yes, it might be the best system corruption build in terms of how much damage you can do with it, but you're going to be smoked by everyone else. So I'm not going to be an advocate for getting a gear set that's basically borderline impossible to get in the first place. And then you guys get it together and you find out it's a shit build. It's just not going to work. I just can't do it. So, unfortunately, system corruption is out, guys. I'm not... I don't know. Maybe I'll sleep on it. Maybe I'll change my mind. But um, this is the only one that actually did something. Yeah, it's kids pretty much nerfed. Exactly. So, it's just... What's the point? You know what I mean? But there's just no point to that. Um, this is also good. This, this sharpshooter is really good as well. But I put, well, these two, I need to decide which one I prefer between these. Um, that's that, and this is just my PvE, PvP build, PvE build. So guys, I think I'm calling it there. For four hours, we've tried to make system corruption viable. And I can with all confidence say that it is not viable for me. Maybe you guys have a better idea on how to go about it, but you go without the backpack, the bonus armor you get is average. If you go without the chest piece, you've got a 20 second cooldown. So you need to run something with, with armor on kill. 
to actually get damage, you need to get headshots. The only way to make it viable, and, and, and viable is the key word here, is to run something like this. Where, you know, you can push, you'll push, you'll push headshot damage up to 300%. It's going to be very strong. You're going to get bonus armor and you're going to get unbreakable. This is the only way that I think you can make system corruption viable. But now, let's compare it to something like Striker with Backpack. Um, with this, you run Unbreakable on here and Catharsis on here. It doesn't stack up. I mean, if they've got even got like a third of their stacks randomly picked up, this is great. This Browser Boros build will destroy it, even though I don't have the Backpack because of the extra ammo that you have, the rate at which the Ouroboros fire, and the fact that you've got all, you know, that additional magazine. It's just not going to, it's just not viable. So playing system corruption just for the sake of playing with system corruption, I wouldn't recommend it. But then again, I'm just a guy who makes videos and I have an opinion. Feel free to disagree, of course. Um, we're going to start working on some other builds. Um, I do want to try one of these two for the next one. I really like the Umbra set. And I really think the Angry Bird build is literally one of the best burst damage builds in the game. I don't think you can... I mean, you, you saw what I just did to those guys, all four of them. Um, 75 weapon damage, getting over, what is it, 200%. This goes to... Critically, damage goes to 250%. And then you also get 75% weapon damage on top of that. Whilst you have 1.6 million armor, it's it's bizarre. Um, we've got three red cores, five blue cores. This is an insane build. It's on the channel, but I would run it with Gunner. I wouldn't run it with this. I don't know why I'm running it with this. Might as well change it now. SMG shotgun AR. Um, that is what I would play. Probably you guys. Because this can work for Conflict, and the Dark Zone is going to be a bit more challenging, but you can still do really well. Conflict is, the bird set is perfect for Conflict because you're constantly in cover anyway, building up stacks. It's perfect for that. And of course, Stampede if you like that. So, um, yeah, I think for Dark Zone, this is going to be the build I rock. My tank build, or the Immortal Pony build that came out today. And... Um, yeah, I'll start working on some other builds from tomorrow night onwards. Probably starting with um, with these guys over here. For Umbra, my favorite ninja bike is Yal and Umbra. Yeah, because if you run Yal, you can also get, uh, with ninja bike, you can also get um, uh, pulse resistance, right? So you run two-piece Yal, three-piece Umbra, and um, you sort it. We might do that. Why wouldn't we do that? We could do that as well. So, I mean, yes, if you add Ninja Bike here to this set, Ninja Bike here, you run probably chest piece would be good. Who is this guy who's running into me? I do have some, um, some yell pieces in here, some good pieces actually. reasonable pieces then there we go so we've got a glove a nice glove and I've got a nice chest as well one with a blitz rate nothing one with unbreakable yes I got rid of the one there. so blitz rate has a protection headshot and then with chance crit damage with unbreakable. This is perfect. So you run that in the glove, um, and you get reasonable 50, another 50 percentage points crit damage or whatever you're running. But I probably won't. I'll run the, the chest. The chest is just solid, man. So I'll probably run it on the face and um, on the glove. Uh, the rest is the way it is. But I appreciate you guys uh, for stopping by, giving me company. I um, feel bad that we couldn't make system corruption viable, but as I said, I can't be an advocate for a build and make a video just for the sake of content 
because system corruption is something that people for some reason are massively attracted to. And I think it's because it's so hard to get. I think that's what it is. So um, I just can't, I, I can't in good conscience recommend you guys play with it. So I'm not going to make a build on it. I do have a system corruption build on the channel, um, which was from the past. It was a while ago. That actually worked well, but things have changed substantially since then, to be honest. Let me see if I can find it quickly. System corruption, yes. So, this was a, was it a year ago? Wow. It's actually not that long time ago. So, what do I run on this? Yeah, it was a massive interplay between stuff. So, yes, there we go. So I ran both chest and backpack. Then I ran damage out of cover with catharsis. And I ran with the Lady Death. So I ran. you run the Lady Death for the first burst damage to get their armor down. Because it's the same Lady Death that I have. I was at 600 shade levels. <laughs> so I ran with that. Um, to get the, You run with that to get the armor down. And then you burst them down with this. It gives you extra armor as well. Um, and that's how I made it viable back then. But you'll get destroyed with this now. You will. It's just changed too much, fortunately. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you guys in the live stream again tomorrow night. Cheers.